Mr. President, there had not been a U.S. service member killed in combat in Afghanistan since February of 2020. You set a deadline, you pulled troops out, you sent troops back in, and now 12 Marines are dead. You said the buck stops with you. Do you bear any responsibility for the way that things have unfolded in the last two weeks? I bear responsibility for fundamentally all that's happened of late. But here's the deal. You know, I wish you one day say these things, you know as well as I do that the former president made a deal with the Taliban that he would get all American forces out of Afghanistan by May 1. In return, the commitment was made, and that was a year before. In return, he was given a commitment that the Taliban would continue to attack others but would not attack any American forces. Remember that? I'm, I'm being serious. Uh, no, I, I'm asking you a question. Be, uh, because before... No, 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 wait a minute. I'm asking you a question. Is that, is that accurate, the best of you or not? What? The toll road of denial is a long and dangerous one. The price? Your soul. Live from Radio City in Florida. It's Johnny Sexton's world, featuring Johnny Sexton. No, 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 do not listen to that man. On today's show, Joe Biden with a gripping tale of Afghanistan. You know, I'm no art critic, but I know what I hate. Plus, erotica and porn. You're going to eat your fat morning. Today's show is brought to you by Afghan Real Estate. You need something by the airport or close to an underground tunnel? But Afghan Real Estate hooked you up. Afghan Real Estate is a fully owned subsidiary of Hunter Biden Industries. And now, Jenny Sexton! We have a continuing obligation, <clears throat> a sacred obligation to all of you, the families of those heroes. That obligation is not temporary. It lasts forever. Most states won't let you marry a plastic head. My God, Johnny Sexton's world. This is Johnny Sexton. How are you tonight? Oh, my God. Uh, first things first, um, not off the wire, right about an hour before I started uh, putting the show together, um, we actually put a drone strike, a drone, oh my God, a drone strike on a member of ISIS in Afghanistan tonight. One drone strike. One. Is that all we got left? This does not make up for the last week and a half to two weeks. This president and his staff that we have in charge here is... The worst that I have ever seen. We have incompetence and idiocy running this country. When I was growing up, and I, I, all right, let me go over this. And, and I'm, I'm still, I hate talking about this, number one. All right, just got a report just now. If you guys heard that little noise in the background, that was my phone. Breaking news, Americans told to leave Kabul airport gates again in an echo of a pre-attack warning. So we'll see what happens. We'll keep posted on that throughout the show if it comes up. Uh, you know what? I just put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I am going to take it off Do Not Disturb now. So if something comes through, I'll take a look at it, and we'll get, we'll get right on that. Um, in my lifetime, I have seen seven Democratic presidents one I never really saw. Um, that was John Kennedy. I don't know much about what he did. Uh, I know he had a few scandals. I know he had a few this, a few that, some sex in the background, what, whatever. It doesn't really matter if they have picked a scandal, things like that, the space race to the moon, all that stuff. Um, so I don't really know a heck of a lot about him. I do know his successor after his assassination, Lyndon Johnson, uh, was sidled with a pretty bad war 
that I really do think Lyndon Johnson died stressing over that war. Um, I have never seen, and, and I was a young kid. I, I'm, I was young. I mean, I'm five years old, six years old, seven years old. And you watch this president day after day struggling with this war, trying to figure a way to get out and not being able to figure it out. And then once he leaves office in 1968, I don't know if he lived two more years. He died. That's what a real president would do. And I'm not saying he had to die, but I'm saying here's a, here's a president who stressed so much over the troops that were overseas, over what was going on over there. You know why? Because he served. He served. He knew what it was like over there. He had a sense of patriotism. He served. Very simple. Um, so what I saw at Lyndon Johnson was, 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 was uh, and he used to say it, uh, a heavy heart. That's what I saw with him, with him. That's all I saw as a kid. Didn't see much else. Um, and then the, the other four, the last four, Jimmy Carter was a, you know, for the, you know, everyone could, he's 96 years old. Everyone talks about how great a president he was. He was a bumbling idiot. If you watch CNN, he was like the second coming of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, you know, or or, or, or the next Abraham Lincoln. He, he wasn't even, he wasn't even Fred Lincoln, the guy that fixes my car. Not even close. He's, he was the worst bumbling idiot I've ever seen in the White House. Either he had no leadership qualities whatsoever because he couldn't really lead a staff of people, and he had, or, or, and or, he had absolutely no management skills, because he was just out of his element as president, way out of his element. Next Democratic president was Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, I, I don't care, I, you could get a blowjob in the White House every friggin' day of the week. You could bang your secretary on the desk for all I can. You could, you could bang her in front of Hillary. You know what? I take a look at Hillary, and I know why you were doing it. Yeah, you lied about it. I, I'd lie, too, if I had her as a wife, okay? I would have lied on national TV. I was like, oh, my God. You know, nothing. I did. I, 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 I've never had sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I, if Hillary's standing in the background just staring with those dagger eyes at me, ready to, ready to have me commit suicide, by getting hit in the head with a ball and peen hammer or something like that, yeah, I, I, I'd be denying it also, no doubt. Um, so I, I don't care about that. I do care that he was a good leader. He had great management skills. He worked across the aisle. He had a good speaker of the house on the on, on the opposing end of Newt Gingrich. They were like the yin and the yang together. Um, but but Clinton was more centrist. He was more of a centrist, right? You know, down the middle. He, he was. He was a really good president. He really was. Got to give him his due. And like I said, I don't care what the hell he was doing sexually. As long as he performed his job when it came to putting pen to paper or words in front of some kind of foreign guy or some foreign person, that's all I care about. Your extra grip, your stuff, I can give a shit. Then along comes the Muslim out of the blue, just appeared out of nowhere. Barack Obama. I never in my time thought that this could turn into a third world country. But Barack Obama's fingerprints are all over what is happening now. Barack Obama's handprints are all over Everything that is being done is people are on Joe Biden's staff. You know, you can look right down the line. Uh, Mark Milley, that, 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 oh, my God, that boob Kirby. If I see him one more time, I may go through the TV screen and choke that guy to death uh, in charge of the Pentagon. Him, they all, everyone, top on down, worked for Barack Obama. And they still don't know what they're doing. You would figure with experience they would get some idea of what's going on. But they still... 
have a level of incompetence that's unbelievably ridiculous, and he was the ringleader. And he was, a, he was great for a photo op. You know, hey, hey, drinking Flint water, you know, <laughs> that, that little tiny, put his lips to the glass and not drink any and tell you it's really good. You know, little bullshit like that. Yeah, Barack was great for Playing basketball with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, having a beer with uh, LeBron James or Michael Jordan, you know, going out and uh, playing golf with uh, Arnold Palmer, gave him a heart attack, whatever, you know. Oh, Tiger Woods, you know, things like that. He was great for him. He was great. But running the country, what a piece of shit, okay? That, I, I'm, I'm saying it right now. That guy was the start of Marxism and communism as we know it. People wanted to tell you it was Hillary Clinton. Uh, she had really had no say in the matter when, when Bill was president. That's why Bill, Bill pretty much ran the country with an iron hand, which was good. He, he didn't let that Marxism crap creep in. But Barack Obama is a Marxist communist from the word go, and he really, definitely, without a doubt, ran this country right into, if not into the ground, he aimed that plane straight for the mountain. He aimed it straight for the mountain and then gave the controls to Joe Biden. They figured they would obstruct the Trump presidency for four years and not let him do anything which is what they did, and then he gave the controls to Joe Biden and said, here, Joe, you know, run it the rest of the way in. And that culminates with Afghanistan. Culminated with Afghanistan. You know, you can, you can, everyone can look at Joe Biden and go, this guy is terrible. He's the worst I've ever seen. It started with Obama. It started with Obama. You know why Joe Biden is not listening to his people right now, his, his army generals? Because Obama is telling him what to do. And Joe, Joe doesn't know anything. Joe, Joe, Joe you know, I tell my 86-year-old mother to do something. She, she forgets it the next second. Joe, Joe doesn't even, I don't even know if he's listening. You know, they, they, you know he probably sits there and coloring book in hand and, and coloring some pictures or, you know, having a nice warm glass of milk or something. And, and, and he's just oblivious to what's going on around him. Then they prop him up in front of a camera and go, hey, Joe, read this. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's terrible. Oh, yeah, it's one of the worst tragedies ever. Joe, you're the one who started it. You're the one who did it. Don't you understand? But may maybe you're not the one. Maybe you have no idea whatsoever of what is going on around you. Maybe you have no idea. Maybe you don't even know. And maybe, just maybe, the Taliban taking over Kuwait Airport, just maybe, that was done on purpose. Maybe we pulled our troops out, knowing the Taliban was going to go in and take over that and take over our weapons. Maybe that was a weapons giveaway to the Taliban. Maybe they did that purposely. You know, people go, people are sitting around, and I still see people on TV going, how could we be so stupid as to give all those Guns, and weapons, military secrets, technology, secured lines, helicopters. How could we be so stupid as to give it all to them? The truth is, no one is that stupid. No one. Think about it. No one is that stupid or that dumb. I, I could put... A 15-year-old kid in charge. And if he asked one general, what do you think? You think we should leave in the middle of the night? And the general said, no. You know what he's going to do? He's not going to leave. He's not. Unless someone says, hey, Joe, you know, there's, a, there's a, you know, like $20 million in this for you. If, uh, you know, you just pull us out in the middle of the night. I mean, there's a lot more money in it for me, Barack Obama. But if you just pull us out in the middle of the night and, you know, let the Taliban sneak in and steal everything and break in, and then let them take over the, the, the other two airports, the back room airport, and, and release the prisoners that are in there, uh, you know, a thousand, between 1,000 and 1,500 prisoners, of course, uh, listening to Kirby at the Pentagon, he has no idea, no idea how many prisoners were let loose, how many Taliban prisoners were let loose in the prisons and Beckram, and the other airport. No idea. Could you imagine that? We don't know. We, oh, we don't, oh, we don't. We keep those records. I don't know. 
Maybe, maybe not. But we did send one drone over there.